Zdravo, which means hello and Bosnian. You're probably wondering what she's doing over there. See, this is coffee grinder. And today I'm going to show you how to make authentic Bosnian coffee. Last weekend, I went to my friend's house and she was so happy because she purchased in Bosnian store uh, grounded coffee and she wants to make a coffee maker, which that is not the way how it goes, not even close. You can purchase already ground coffee, but make sure it's uh, originally Bosnian product. Or you can purchase this coffee grinder and have freshly ground coffee which will make even better Bosnian coffee. What is different because Bosnian coffee bean perfectly roasted for Bosnian coffee. And as you can see here, see different between like American coffee and this finely ground Bosnian coffee. Look at, look at this even color. That is actually one reason why you should not ever grind your coffee in electric grinder. You should do it in hand grinder or you should go and purchase already originally Bosnian product, only Bosnian coffee. What you have to do, put fresh water, fresh water to boil in a separate pot and then you have to have special pot for a coffee to make a, to make it nice and delicious. This one it's made from copper, which is originally authentic Bosnian dish for coffee. Isn't this so cute? And what you have to do is turn your stove top on. You have empty coffee pot. Don't put coffee yet until you heat little bit you heat a little bit this coffee pot before you put ground coffee then look at this you take off here is where you have ground coffee already you put four one two three four tablespoons of ground coffee and listen this boiled water already heated you put boiled water can you hear that that is exactly what we were looking for then you don't fill up this dish all the way because see you wait for this three times my grandma said three times Two, then three. Great. And make sure to turn off your stove and fill up this dish all the way with the water. See. When we are done making coffee, what we are using to drink our coffee these small coffee cups because Bosnian coffee is really, really strong. After your coffee is done, you have to stir and let that ground go down on the bottom. That's why we have to make sure it's finely grounded coffee. You pour like this. Look at this. Ooh authentic Bosnian coffee. You can put a little bit of milk or cream. Stir to get mixed with milk. If you're using sugar, we are usually using sugar cubes, but you can use sugar of any kind. This is a moment to enjoy your authentic Bosnian coffee and you're just sipping. <sighs> it's delicious. And no wonder why you ask me how to make. Until next time, goodbye.